Guys, I wanted to talk to you about making sure you know how to use Desmos to do some calculus derivatives and stuff. So if you type a function in, that's right there. If you want the first derivative, all you do is, as long as you type f of x here, all you have to do is say f prime x, and it will give you the graph of the derivative. And you just say f double prime x, and it will get you the second derivative. So that's going to help you a lot, as long as you define this. If you define it as g of x here, just put g prime x or g double prime x, and you're golden. And then if you want the derivative at a point, all you do is do f prime 2, and that will give you the slope at 2 of this function. So at 2, you can see the slope at 2 is 0, which you can kind of see that. Plus, if you look at the derivative graph, can't you see the derivative at 2 is 0? So you can look at the graph, or you can just type things in like this and see it. So if I want the second derivative, what's the slope? What's the second derivative at 2? Well, you can look at that, and you get 12. All right, so you can change it. You just add a, add a prime on it. And then also, if you want to know like when a derivative equals 5, you can click, you can just write it, right? Derivative equals 5, and that is right here. Now, what's bad about that is you can't really see it very good, because you can't even click on that. Actually, you can right there, boom, boom. And so you can see at negative um, 2.38 and 2.38, that will solve this. So you kind of can solve equations by doing, by just typing it and looking where these vertical lines pop up. Now, I don't always like that method, because it sometimes has some issues. So what's better is let's say you want to know um, where f prime equals 5. What I like to do, and this always works for sure, is all right, y equals 5. So I graph that, and then I graph the first derivative, and then I look where they cross. And that is another way to solve equations, where they cross or there. So that's a little bit better than doing this, but you can see they actually hit at the same spots. See right there? So the, 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 the vertical orange lines are really this, where the solutions are. Um, but it's kind of a weird, like, why are these vertical lines there? It's just Desmos is a way to solve. It's kind of interesting. But again, it doesn't always work. So if you also wanted to set, find out where the original equation equals 5, you do that, and you can see it's here, here, and here. All right? So hopefully those kind of things can help. Also, if you want to know, like, for instance, where's my derivative or, like, where's my velocity at rest? Well, the velocity is first derivative. And when is it at rest? Zero. Well, you click right here. You just click on it. Boom. You can find out exactly where values are just by clicking on them because um, Desmos will always let you click on x-intercepts, which are really nice. X, even y-intercepts, which sometimes can help. And what's also nice, and this will be helpful at times, is it also lets you click on something called the, the maxes and mins. So if you click on this, it also marks the maxes and mins really nicely, which will be helpful at times in the future too. So Desmos can really help you solve, can help you find derivatives, can find you help you find derivatives at points and, and all sorts of stuff. And, and find out where you get a certain slope. All this kind of stuff can be done on Desmos. So hopefully this video helps you out.